dance now. <laughs> Where is the red? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the life of JC and D. Yes. So we have something special going on today as you read on the title. We are going to be decorating cookies. Some cookies. Christmas cookies. Answering a few questions. Yes. There might be some juicy questions. <laughs> so obviously we just we're just gonna show you some of the things. We already have cookies. They were made today. Which Dan actually baked them in I know, I am so proud of myself. I was like, wow, you stay the shape. Square, square star. We've been trying to make them and they don't hold the shape. But and today I no. baked them and they actually they're turned not out. To, she, they're not trying to be a wifey. A baker. Well, she just master chef once. We actually did fun fact. Sugar, sugar rush once. Nailed like it watching, once. We like watching baking shows and cooking we do. shows. Sugar cookies, and then we have icing. Yeah, we just bought icing, cookie icing. Yeah, because that I have not we nailed it yet. No. Yeah. And then little googly eyes. Is that for the snowman? Oh, yeah. And then some candy canes. Got some crushed candy canes. I thought, why not? And then just some little toothpicks to maybe add a little details. But yeah. That should be everything. Maybe you should make this dun, into dun, a little competition dun. and see who has the best Christmas cookies. Okay, I'm gonna win, of course. Me. Well, let's break the ice with a question. Uh, surprisingly and thankfully, we got quite a bit of questions. Yeah, we did. So thankfully. thank you for everybody that actually thank sent you. a question. Thank you. So much. Y'all are the real MVPs. Yes, we're like, what if we like don't get even one? But thankfully we did. So yeah, you get a car, you get a car, and you get a car. <laughs> Just you get at least your question answered. Yeah. Okay. I'll just pick this. Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, we started off with the good. Says, where do you think you guys would be at if you weren't a couple? Mm. Obviously, with the wrong person. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> I was like, I would have been living my best life somewhere else. Never mind. Head out. <laughs> And you're staying with me a minute. <laughs> no, she's mine. We've had this conversation. Yeah, we talked about it. Totally have asked him, like, hey, have you, what do you think if you weren't with me right now answering the question? I want to say I would be with my mom. Like, living at my mom's, working. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I would be searching for you because something would be missing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'd probably be with the wrong person because he is my soulmate. So, oh, here we are. I, feel, I think the same thing. It's just, I don't know, it's weird. Like, think that you wouldn't be here. Like, we wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. Like, you guys or would I not wouldn't be here watching this video. Would, yeah, this wouldn't be happening right now. So, I don't here. know. Oh, yeah, many too. But hopefully, that kind of answers, I guess. I guess right we now, I don't know where we would be without each other. Yeah, exactly. I agree. Guess, I don't know. I don't want to even. <laughs> where is it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> And it's like, just leave the bottle up here on the floor. And it's like, excuse you? <laughs> Casually sip. So what do you want to start off with? I'm going to start off with a snowman. I love oh. snowmen. Fun fact. That was not a question, but I'm, I thought of throwing that out. I think you threw that out in the last video. Okay. Quite what a if, bit of times. What if someone didn't see that video? <laughs> just kidding. I'm going to do a snowman. Why are you doing this snowman? It's a competition. And your time starts now. <laughs> Where is the red? <laughs> That's all your ingredients you have. Have you guys seen a sugar rush? I was trying to do it in the voice of her. And your time starts now. So, let's get some decorating. <laughs> you know, decorate this snowman. When people decorate, they make it seem so easy. Yeah. And here we are, not even like knowing what to do. Oh yeah, and these are our cookies. Yeah. I just licked my finger. Our cookies are icing. Our germs. <laughs> our germs. <laughs> what is your favorite thing you like most about each other? I used to like your hair, but then you cut it. Wow! <laughs> I don't care if you like it or don't like it. I like it, and that's all that matters. Ding. Boom. Period. <laughs> mm, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> it's like I don't like nothing. Just kidding. Um, overall, 
uh, his personality. I really oh, like his personality. It. I can talk to him so easily, funny, understanding, caring, loving, all that together. So overall, his personality is like the greatest. Mm -hmm. Kind of same. Uh, I don't know. I think Diana's really like. I think Diana's like one of the few like actually like genuine nice people that mm -hmm. there is out there in the world. So if you guys don't have a Diana, I'm sorry. You're so cute. I don't really mean that. Noodles. That's Peppa. There's my snowman, guys. I know it's a Choose a question. I win. Oh, I said serio? Oops. That's sabotaging. Yeah, you're sabotaging my cookie. I didn't put a score for me. No, it doesn't matter. You can't. You, once you lay. Okay. Rule. Once he lays it on that over there, you can't pick it up. You can't tweak your cookie no more. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger, but you stole. Okay, it says if you both won the lottery, would you travel? If so, where to? Most definitely, yes. If I had all that money, I'd be around the world. Really want to go visit Spain. España. So, yeah, that is on my top list. Yeah, I think Spain would be nice too. Oh no, somehow like Brazil has always caught my attention. Ooh, Brazil. So, so. Que es ira al carnival? Yeah. <laughs> Why did they go like this? Mardi Gras. Carnival. So I think Spain would be nice and obviously Brazil. Uh, but we watched this show on Netflix. It's called Down to Earth. Mm -hmm. And they went to they went to Iceland. That was the first episode. And it just looks so nice. Like you just. Yeah. I don't know. It's so nice. And then like New Zealand or like Switzerland. I feel like it's so green there. It's so just like. Picturesque. Really? Is that Ica would be nice too? Ooh, is that your third place? Yeah. yeah España. And let's just stay over there still. <laughs> I think like Italy. Mm -hmm. Third is more like locally. The United States. I really want to have a Christmas in New York sometime. Experience a Hallmark moment in New York. Where would you guys go? Oh, yeah. Leave, leave down the comments. Yes. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Ooh. Diana has seen me a couple of times, but I haven't hit back, so there's that. Uh... Excuse me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. We had a fun him. fight, I guess, but we both have never been in a fight. Never. I've been in arguments. Never. <laughs> what? I've been in arguments. You've been in arguments? Yeah. I guess, yeah, in our, in like, little... Argument. Really, really have to really push my buttons. Like you gotta boop, boop, like almost snatch those off. Yeah, and I mean, either. I feel like it takes, for me, it takes a lot to get yeah. me mad. And I don't think nobody has ever gotten me mad to that point. Stories where sometimes people like get fights for like the most really. Oh, I didn't like the way he looked at me. In that yeah, person. exactly. Like, and I'm just bro. like, are you serious? Like, that's it? I don't like the way they look at me sometimes. Do they have my country? <laughs> That same voice, same. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. That's cheating. You eliminated one of your cookies. Because it wasn't that good. <laughs> yeah, but we're not gonna have a competition anymore. It's fine. This is for fun. Just try your best. Yeah, she's really good though. Did he do a good job on that? Uh, who wants the recipe? And here is my snowflake. That's really disappointing. I thought you would do more than that. This is my snowflake. The quality on that snowflake or is the quality on that snowman? It seems like it's almost like if somebody else did this. Like what, you? <laughs> Let me find out you won't be my first fight. Uh, let me just sip on my wine. So the fifth question. Um, This one actually was directed to me. I mean, I'm sure if you want to chime in. That's Diana, and it says, "How do you maintain such a positive attitude all the time?" Well, you no. You will only see her in the morning before she has her cafecito. <laughs> no. Obviously, it's hard. You know, I'm human, and I do have my moments. Obviously, no one's perfect, but I feel like what does help me a lot waking up and trying to tell myself, "Oh, today is gonna be um, a good day for a good day." That quote has always like stuck to me. I repeat that to myself, like, "It's a good day for a good day. It's a good day for a good day." And somehow it works and even then um, I sometimes go and Google positive quotes or positive you know um, affirmations like and I feel that that usually really does help it's not one of those things where oh you wake up every day and it's like you're positive 
Yeah. You have to work for it. Like it's legit. Yeah. Like I mean, everybody has bad days. Yeah. For me, will work for a while too, mm -hmm. and forever. But even just like posting something positive, like on your oh, social yeah, media. Oh yeah, that's so true. Even I think like it kind of helps. Not so much. Maybe like I feel like people to a point sometimes they get tired of that too. But oh, yeah, it's not like, so much like so doing positive. it for them. It's more doing it for us. I agree with him because also I have done that where I have posted positive. Any from a quote to my personal just thoughts. Sometimes I even just say, "Oh, like have a good day, everyone. I wish you, you know, a wonderful weekend. Positive vibes, positive energy." I'm speaking that to existence through, I mean, through a social media platform. It's my Facebook, and it's more to help myself. And who knows? Maybe along the way, one of you guys that's scrolling on the newsfeed come across our our post. I really needed to hear that today, or I really yeah. needed to see that today. I'm gonna have a negative day or something's really gonna get to me but then i have to realize like okay was it the whole entire day or was it just by my step to the side and be like okay it's it's overall it's a good day and that's why like it's a good day for a good day because overall i feel like there's always more good in the yeah, day so than positive and every you know day. yeah well the mm -hmm. i actually have forgotten about it till now you are what you think Oh, if you get up in the morning and you're already dreading, like, oh, oh Lord, that, oh, it's yeah. Monday, oh, there's all that. That's, that's so honestly true. how your day is going to start. Like you're like setting the tone for your day. And that's true. Kind of just having that mindset, just kind of, <clears throat> it's a good day for a good day. Yeah. And honestly, every day that you open your eyes, it's a blessing. That right there. It's obviously it has to do with striving for it, working for it. A big thing has to do with attitude. Yeah. Overall, I think one of the things that, um, helps me especially get through a tough time that i am alive today people that i was able to wake up today because not many got to wake up a lot of them went to sleep thinking they were going to wake up the next day and they didn't and that is such a big blessing that and yeah i feel like wow, <laughs> wow. and it was so nice and i was taking my time uh... yeah sabotage me what did i do i was over here speaking my mind my the thoughts my it? soul was coming up the way you baked it <laughs> the way that i baked it <laughs> okay oh, you need some <laughs> positive vibes <laughs> yeah. See, like that, for example it's fine it's fine there's another there's no point you just have to restart but there's another there's no point <laughs> wow <laughs> Tea. This is tea. Do tea? you guys ever need a time off from each other? No, never. That shouldn't even happen in the first place. Well, <laughs> okay. See? Well, but I, I feel like still no. Like I don't. I don't think I get tired of being with you. Know? If you get tired of being with, well, I guess every every relationship is different. But in our case, yeah. In our opinion, my opinion, I feel like if you get tired of being with your with the person you decide to marry or be with, I feel like you're doing your wrong thing. I need time off from there. Well, I'll give me fastidia sometimes and be like, yeah, <laughs> please leave me alone. But saying like, I don't think I need Every time off from Juan. I don't think so. Yeah. I, like Juan said, that shouldn't even happen. Should, I, I mean, but every relationship is different, right? Yeah, but, but obviously, like us personally, person. us in our relationship. No, that does not happen. <laughs> Bro, that's an ugly tree, Diana. How is this ugly? It has ornaments. Your work of art went down gradually. It has ornaments? I thought mine was ugly. Like one be judging my stuff, being like, oh, that's not good. It's not? He's just jealous. Jealous of what? You're not being judged? Okay. It's perfect. It's cute. Okay, so back to the last question, if we ever need time off from each other. Well, look at my tree says <gasps> Ooh, it's another juicy one who wears the pants in the relationship Obviously i do me. well jokes uh, aside no one in this relationship wears them what are you talking about <laughs> no at all i mean <laughs> no <at> all. <laughs> uh, no of course not <laughs> i feel like it's equal yeah it's just equal i feel like I feel that's how, how it should be. Should be. Work together. No one wears the pants in their relationship, and no one is whipped in their relationship. There shouldn't, that shouldn't even exist. You fall in those category categories. Okay, you are country folk. <laughs> no. How did you do the swirl? I'm not gonna tell you my secret. Why not? It's a competition. But wait, 
There's no competition because mine are better. Am I doing it right? Ooh. What was your longest road trip to get there? Ooh. I think it was Newport. Like yeah. Newport, Oregon? Yeah. I feel like it was almost like eight hours, closer to nine. That was actually like our first And plus that was our trip. first time. It was so much fun, you guys. Yeah. I had a good time. Still to this day, I remember that. Like if it was just yesterday. Yeah, I think road trips are like nice. Yes, I love road trips. Ooh, this one is for you. Dun, dun, dun. How to manage to stay motivated all the time with your fitness goals and any tips. <laughs> Why are you doing sugar cookies? She's good. <laughs> this is not the video to answer this. Mm, well. Where's your salad? <laughs> the green salads. Yeah, I think that's a thing. And like tips. you there's you lose motivation. Like motivation it's hard to keep like all the time. Even if we don't go to the gym in like, I don't know, weeks. Like I know in my mind and Diana knows in her mind that gym is part of our lives now. Like yeah. no matter no matter how long I stop not going, I'm gonna eventually go back. Like I want to go back. Like I'm always thinking about gym. Lifestyle, lifestyle now. Like I can't and see ourselves never going back ever. You gotta realize that you're changing your lifestyle. You're gonna add that as part of your lifestyle and I feel like you have to enjoy it. Yeah. Even if it's like lifting weights, running, uh yoga, just hiking, like walking, whatever. Mm -hmm. As long as you enjoy it, as long as it actually like, I don't know, like clears your mind and you're looking forward to it, I think you're doing it right. And I feel like that's how you keep motivated. And plus, once you start seeing your results, I think that's that's like the biggest motivation. Yeah. During the day, I'm wearing my work clothes, and then I wear my gym clothes, and then I wear like my sleeping clothes. So you don't see your body changing. But then on the weekends, when I put on my jeans, I put on like a dress shirt, and I'm just like, oh, like. Okay. Yeah, I see okay, stomach, you're not here anymore. <laughs> like, if you feel like that kind of like motivates you even more. And then when you see all those changes, like you want to go to the gym more, you want to yeah. work out more, you want to like keep on going. There's just days that you just have to go, even if you don't feel motivated. Like I would tell the Anna, like uh, never skip a Monday. Monday, yeah, I believe, sets true. the tone for your week. And yeah. if you already skip Monday, mm -hmm. more than likely you're gonna skip the rest of the week and go on the yeah. days that you don't want to go. Because if you go on the days that you don't want to go, the days that you want to go, like, are going to be even, like, easier to actually go to the gym or go for a run. You go and just, like, be there for, like, 10, 15 minutes. At least you went and at least Remember, you didn't skip. that is the negativity once again, talking yeah. you yourself because, oh, I'm tired. Or, oh, I'll be fine. It's me. Uh, like, thankfully, I can walk. I can, like... You know, like I don't have any oh, so uh, disabilities, so and there's people with disabilities, people in wheelchairs, and they're at the gym, like they're killing it at the gym. So it's like if my body is fine, if like I can move fine, everything's okay. Why am I, why am I not taking advantage of that? I did a half marathon last year, so thirteen point one miles, and it's insane because. At first, people when I would tell people, they're like, "Oh, well, you know, obviously you can run. Like you're young, you're you're like fit-ish, get it? Like yeah, maybe." I know it's kind of like messed up of me, but we're humans. We can, uh, yeah. Some older like lady talked to me at the beginning of the race. Um, I'm pretty sure it was like in her 60s, 70s. In my head, I'm like, okay, well, I'm like, Juan, at least you won't be the last one. <laughs> I'm like, this lady will be the last one. <laughs> Just <laughs> for really though. And it's crazy because I'm here running, trying to like not die. And like some lady, I, I feel somebody just like tapping my shoulder. And it was that lady. Like I looked and there was a lady and she's over here running. And kind of like, ah. And I'm just like, bro, like this lady. Like, you thought, boy. You like thought. this lady just passed me. <laughs> and at first, like my ego, I was like, okay, well, you know, like sprint. You, you got to beat her. But no, like, I'm like, nope. Like the race is for myself. I'm doing yeah. it for me. That's and another thing. Don't just, ever compare yourself. Yeah. Yeah, don't compare yourself to nobody because no. we're all in different like no. level. For you, is it for you to doing build for like confidence a... to no. love yourself? And I feel like quickly chiming in, like for me personally, I... mentally, oof, yeah, it is such a boost, you guys. Self love is my thing that I've been trying to work on myself, and I feel like I've gone pretty far. And I have to give thanks to the gym. To the gym and working out and exercising because i can blow off steam 
and if you feel good, just something in you, like, you just feel this rush. Too, like, don't focus so much on what the skill says. Yeah. Just kind of like, do your thing. It's going to take time. And then if you're feeling really good, that's already telling you something. That's yeah. already making a difference mentality-wise. And that's already, like, a little boost into towards self-love, you guys. And I feel like that's one of the most important things. You're making me want to go to the gym now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, same. Just take one day at a time, honestly. Don't like overthink it. It's gonna pass the same, so might as well try and be active and do something. Well, how old were you guys when you first met? 25. Mm, not too long ago. We met when we were 16. 16 years old. 16, young, wild, and free. Yeah. And look at us now. We're baking cookies together. Aww, so cute. What is the most difficult part of making an episodio on YouTuber? Dun dun dun! That's an ugly, ugly snowflake. Wow, you're so Just kidding. mean! Um, Fuera! Fuera. Making the video? I think that part's actually pretty fun. Like, I enjoy it. I well, think what takes long is the editing. I think the editing does take a while. So I don't know, maybe that's kind of like the hardest part. And then I feel like, I think that's hard. Just trying to like be yourself on camera. The way same way you are off camera. But I feel like one of the difficult things is, I don't know if it's like where we live or, but when it comes to vlogging, it's like a little, it's a little difficult just because when we're out and about, we haven't done so much of that just because I get a little shy. Like I'm here, we're over here holding the, tripod so rare to see it here i feel like that's why then i know mostly it's more subscon subscon sub what self self what subconscious <laughs> subconscious my subconscious what are you trying to say in my that? last one is ooh some tea right now not tea but who is more jealous Order. Okay, there's no fix coming together. I see what you're doing. I'm not really the jealous type anymore. Anymore? He was. I feel like no. when we started dating, I feel like I would get more jealous more often. But I feel like now, I really don't get that jealous. Find a reason to, I guess. Like, I don't know, if a guy, like, I don't know, at stand on Facebook or like message her or like stuff like that. <laughs> I feel like I take it more as a compliment. <laughs> like, oh, I, do, I don't think I'm jealous either. At the end of the day, Vienna wants to like leave with somebody else because of Wow. Okay. I ain't gonna beg. I ain't gonna get jealous. Wow, and he loves me. Just gonna me that open much. the door for you. Wow, and he loves me that much. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I don't care. I'll just leave right now. Who needs well, you? I'm not jealous. Like he said, I, I trust him. Why is there a reason to be jealous? Yeah. Like, I really do trust Juan. We've been together for who knows how long. I'm just kidding. I, mean, I, know, like, I have trust for Diana, Forever so, like... and like he said, girls add him, girls talk to him. Um, and I don't care. I really don't care. I feel like because I trust him and I know he's a good man. And I don't know. There's I just I don't know. It's hard to think yeah. like why would you make why he respects me a lot and he shows I've. We've been together so long. There's never been a reason to ever doubt or or feel some type of yeah, way. I think that's you. That's then why. Then I never really gave me an, like a, a reason to not trust her. Like, he's able to because he's his own person. Just because we're together doesn't mean he cannot hang out with anyone. Or, like, his guy friends go out. Whatever he wants to do, I'm perfectly fine. Because the same way, if I want to go out with my girls, perfectly fine. Like, it shouldn't be like that, you know? But that's us, personally. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's just the respect, the trust, mm -hmm. and your relationship. So there's no jealous, no jealous vibes here. No jealousy here. here. No Sex toxica here. here. Mm, toxica, see. Jealous vibes, no. Uh, you have to be a little toxica with jealous. Do you? Yeah, you do. Do you? Yeah, you do. All the yeah, toxicas out there. <laughs> you know who I'm talking to. Yes, you. You. You know it's you. <laughs> the top toxica here. Well, guys, that's all the questions we have for today. But yeah, I hope you guys, like, enjoyed. Um, let's show... Well, let's show them my cookies. Snowman versus snowman. No, oh, didn't take snowman. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree.
destroying <gasps> wow, you're just, wow, you're destroying my other one. This was mine. But then I did this one. Ah, and then star against star. Yeah, no, that's not the first thing you did. I didn't do any other stars. Oh. So I did this one. And then I did this one. And this one's mine. And then I did this one. He is pretty fast. You can tell by his work. <laughs> the blue one's really nice. My second one, but the first one broke. <laughs> no, that was not your first one. You showed, you mm. showed yours. He sh guys, you showed one. and this is my second one. <laughs> That's all we have for today. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed these questions. They were actually pretty fun. We were like, yeah, whoa, are we really going to answer these? But yeah, obviously. They were really very good. They were very good questions, guys. So thank you so much for those that sent us these questions. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment, share, and share. until the share cookie. Share and subscribe. And yes, please. Just, you know, share this video with your friends and we, have them subscribe. Yes. And have we, them join the family. <laughs> we'll be like, wait, 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 really close to 100 subscribers. Um, we do have a giveaway soon. You will find out more, more details once we reach 100 subscribers. And thank you to those who have subscribed and are yes, we enjoying our guys. videos and liking them and commenting. I love reading the comments. They make my day. Things, I don't know, just little feedback, little advice, little, mm -hmm. little comments, little compliments. Oh. By the way, someone did compliment us during one of her questions, and that was really sweet. I did thank her personally. I'm going to say yes, it's a girl. Thank you. But yeah, she, thank you so much. That was really sweet of you. Until next time. For a brand new episode of the Live of JC.